All right, it's the moment of truth. I just grew Dracula a level. I think it's nighttime. Is yes, it's going down. What is happening, y'all? Welcome back. We are freaking evolving Dracula because I finally was able to get this thing a level during nighttime, and we are at our third evolution stage here. And Dracula is about to be a damn beast. Look at this thing. Yes, looking pretty handsome there, buddy. We have a countyla, so nice. The count, Tom. Huh? That's pretty awesome. We did get paralyzed in the process, but nice. I'm stoked about that. We're level 31. All right, we still keep bloodthirst, and uh, we do get rid of the item that we had, which is kind of a bummer, but now actually we'll have full power acrobatics. So that's pretty awesome. We're starting off the episode on a good note there, and we're about to head into a new city as well. So here we have Orshore Town. We have not been here before. It looks like a pretty average... Uh, Pretty average place. Where's the Poke Center? We need to use that before anything because the team's kind of hurting. Oh, it's kind of it's a little bit tropical. Okay. I can dig it. But where the hell? Y'all got a Poke Center here? What the fuck's going on here? Excuse me? Oh, it's okay. Right at, <laughs> right at the top. Big, obvious building. Okay. So we're going to heal up. Uh, we took a little bit of a beating last episode. Luckily, it wasn't too bad. We we're all in one piece. And uh, now we have a county loan, which is sweet. So before we actually continue too far, I do want to make sure that we buy some potions. Uh, we're running a little bit low on these. We're going to get some hyper potions now. Pretty damn expensive, but I think it's worth grabbing... Uh, we'll grab 13 of these bad boys, make it 15. And we're looking good. So, oh, not, no more of them. Okay, actually, do I need... I think I'm pretty good on Pokeballs, right? I, I think we've stocked up a decent amount. We have 13 Ultra Balls. 16 great balls. Yeah, I think we'll probably be okay for now. But uh, let's first things first, let's check out what the quest is here. Hello, sir. Hello there. I'm a scientist and I'm working on something with magnetism. For my research, I would need a special Pokemon, but I forgot the name of it. I'm really bad at catching catching Pokemon, so that's why I'm searching for help. Pokemon I'm searching for is a gray color and has multiple body structure. Uh, it's also able to learn the move Magnet Bomb. So I think it's that... Uh, it's definitely that one Pokemon that we saw last episode. We can probably find it in the wild back that way, but I guess if we end up back there, we could catch one of those and just bring it to that guy. Obviously, Nuzlocke rules aren't going to apply for that. We'll probably just release it after we uh, finish the quest, but we'll do that later. For now, we got to check out what's going on in the city. Hello, sir. One day when I grow up, I'm going to beat all the trainers on the Battle Bridge. Cool. What's happening, brother? How many Pokemon have you seen on your journey? Give me a look into your Pokedex. Wow, more than 50. That's awesome. Here, take this. So he gives us an Eviolite. And that's actually really good. That is an item that increases uh, defense and special defense if it's not fully evolved. So that could be kind of nice. We could give that to... That actually might be perfect for Ghost. Ghost is going to take a while to evolve. And now that we have the Eviolite, it's going to make it just a little bit more bulky for us. Give that 50% boost. There you go, buddy. You can enjoy that. Also, we should probably switch out Dracula. Uh, rocking level 31, looking pretty good for now. We'll put our buddy Ghost there. So, let's continue to kind of just see what's going on here. The battle bridge is where trainers go to battle and gain experience. Cool, so apparently there's there's a battle bridge here, which is cool. I don't like the beach. I hate when the sand is between my toes. You know, honestly, the sand is the worst part about the beach. As someone who lived in Hawaii for like almost a year, I got my fill of the beach. I mean, just the sand is a pain in the ass, man. What's up, lady? This is a nice place right beside a beach. I love it here. Doesn't look too beachy in the town, but there is in fact a beach over there. We'll grab these here, Apricorns. coins. Um, I'm guessing in one of these towns we're gonna have Kurt or whatever the hell his name is that can make some make us some Pokeballs out of it. Uh, we have like so many different kinds of Apricorns. coins. I've grabbed pretty much every place to get Apricorns, and a lot of the time the Pokemon have hold items or they they pick up items. And we'll grab these here, yellows. So we are Apricorned the hell up. They're really not that useful though. Unless we get some good balls, but we'll see. What's happening in here? Hello, sir. Oh, it's Bert, not Kurt. Specialized in turning apricorns into Pokeballs. So this is the freaking house. Nice. If you like, I can convert one of yours into a Pokeball. Which apricorn would you like to get? Okay, I have no idea which ones turn into what, but we're going to go black apricorn because that seems like it would turn into something cool. Be finished by tomorrow. So maybe we'll check on that later. How the hell do you make an apricorn out of a damn berry? Or, ap or, or a Pokeball out of a... Apricorn berry. Oh, Hayden, Grandpa forgot in order to get these special Pokeballs, you need this. And we obtained a Porphin Pail. What the hell is that? If you plant an Apricorn, you have to water them with the Porphin Pail, and they will grow into a tree. Then you can pick more of them. Okay, so it's literally just a fancy watering bucket. Probably not going to do a whole lot of farming, but that's good to know that we have that. 
We already talked to you. Um, there is a cut tree here that has a nice little item back there. We'll take it. It is a full restore. Okay. So making it worthwhile. It's really nice that we don't have to carry around a freaking Pokemon that has cut. So we can always grab those items. See what's happening in this house. Hello. Have you ever met a weed sea? That evolves via water stone. Take this. Oh yeah, we got ourselves a water stone. And that is fantastic. We've been waiting for a water stone for too damn long. Because I'm pretty sure Happy evolves from it. If it doesn't, I'm going to be upset because I've been thinking it does this entire time. And it does. We're about to finally evolve Happy. I'm very surprised this thing lasted as long as it did. Level 32, little baby-ass bird. We're about to evolve our shiny little penguin boy and see what the hell this thing turns into. Okay. Looking kind of like Empoleon, actually. What do we got here? I assume it just evolves once. This thing should be pretty damn good. Oh my god, yes! A Pinglade. That thing is actually sweet as hell. I like it. I honestly think I like that thing more than freaking Empoleon. Let's check our buddy out here. Yo, Happy is an absolute unit now. So uh, we keep Refrigerate. Stats looking pretty damn nice. Uh, more physically offensive, but offensive, offensive. Well, that's cool. We just literally, we really upgraded our team there. We evolved as hell, looking nice. I'm stoked about this. What the hell does this guy have? Hello? What kind of what kind of dog is this? My Moonstone tries to smack down the coconuts from this palm. Here, try it too. And we get TM23 for smackdown. Maybe we could use that to get stuff off of trees, or is that just literally just the move for us? I don't know. What are you doing, lady? I have a friend on the beach. It's a shrub sea. It loves to sing. Well, cool. So, we got a uh, police officer here. Fuck the police. Have you met Birdie? Make special Pokeballs. You should go see him. I sure have. Kids love playing on the beach and with the Pokemon they find there. Sounds like a good time. The kids are living the dream. What do you say? In the battle bridges where trainers go to battle and gain Oh, yeah, we definitely talked to you, right? So, the problem has been solved. Good luck in your battles. I didn't realize there was a problem, but here we have the battle bridge. And uh, we're going to hold off on that for now because I think there's a little bit more for us to do. Hey there, youngster. I have something for you. Take this. And we get a water gem. I believe that's kind of like a mystic water. Found it on the beach when I was fishing the other day. Might come in handy for you. I think it helps water type Pokemon somehow. I believe it just powers up the water. Water moves. Oh, uh, strengthens the power of water type move only once. So that's interesting. Is my tan even? It is. Oh, yay. <laughs> nice. Well, so that's really all there is in this town other than the battle bridge. I suppose we're going to go ahead and check that out. See what we can get into over there. Um, we're just probably going to leave Ghost in front for now. I guess that's probably the best move. Um, kind of need some levels with that and Charlotte. So, uh-oh. Something's going down at the battle bridge. Would you look who it is? Hayden, wait. It's freaking Rodney. Puff, puff, puff. Jeez, you fast. He's puffing, huh? I was hoping I'd catch up to you. That's a Porphin Pail. I've got one too. Aren't Apricorns awesome? It sure are. Bird also gave me special Pokeballs, so watch out. I'm going to catch some awesome Pokemon with them. Have you caught something new? I have. Let me show you in battle. Well, okay. I guess I should have expected that uh, we'd be getting into a rival battle here. Oh, hopefully we're prepared for this. I'm kind of worried, but I think, I think we'll be okay. Freaking Rodney, man. Always showing up. Trying to rain on my parade. All right, so holy shit, he has five Pokemon. So he leads off with a wee kid. At right, level 25, and this thing's fighting type, so we don't want to leave Ghost out here. Let's go right into Dracula. Probably our safest bet. My freaking headphones are like, they need a charge. They keep beeping. I don't know if you can even hear that, but it's annoying. Okay. Let's just, uh, let's acrobatics this bad boy. I'll probably just knock you out. Level 25, wee kid. You weak as hell, kid. Take that. You loser. All right, so that's one down at least. Mainly just worried about that damn starter, though. That thing, uh, that thing's an absolute threat. Get ourselves some experience there. Terraz. Okay, so that's that uh, electric thingy. We could probably go into dart for this. I assume that uh, rock would work good. I mean, I think it's just flying electric, so I think we'll be okay. Terraz. Level 26. So at least he, I mean, he has a lot of Pokemon, but they're not all that scary. I think Ancient Power is actually a better maneuver for us here because we're actually higher... Are we higher special attack? What are we working with here? I probably should have... Oh my god, we are absolutely a special attacker. <laughs> 70 special attack and 28 attack. 
So the rock slide is just absolutely useless. I gotta really remember that we're focusing on ancient power here. Goes for an air cutter, gets a crit, and does nothing. That's fine. It's a battle of the damn dinos here, and you about to get destroyed. So that's gonna knock it out in one hit. You know, Dart would actually help us a decent amount against his starter, but I don't have much to hit it with. Okay, there's the forest stone. Um, so we're definitely... I think we should just go into happy. The forest stone, we can probably take anything this thing can throw at us. I don't believe it's... It shouldn't be fully evolved at this point, no way. Look at this shiny lad. I love him. Okay, so here's the level 28 forest stone. Um, we're just gonna Aurora beam your ass and just hope for the best here. Worst case scenario, I think, is rollout, but it actually just dies in one hit. So look at that. Happy coming in clutch with that evolution. We're looking nice. Get a bunch of experience. Next is a bud chirp. He's still got a bud chirp. What the hell's up with that, buddy? Let's go into let's go into ghost here. I think ghost could use the experience. Why not, friend? Alright. Does Bud Chirp not evolve anymore? What the hell's this thing's deal? We're just gonna ice shard you. Don't think there's really anything too bad that could happen here, especially now that we have the Evil Light. That's actually gonna be really nice. Charge beam, huh? Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. One more ice shard's gonna do it. And we've finally gotten to the point where Rodney doesn't destroy us as bad anymore, at least. We get that Moxie boost, which is nice. I also grew to level 28. Trying to learn Scary Face. Sorry, Ghost, you're too adorable for Scary Face. You, you, can't, you can't do that yet. Next is a Lunape. Uh, that's gotta be the evolved form of the Moonkey. Right? We're gonna go into Dracula here. Pretty sure that's that's the moon key thing. Loon ape. We have not seen this thing yet. Yep, it's for sure. <laughs> that thing's actually pretty cool. It's almost like that would be like a legendary for Lunar Dark. Well, uh, we're just going to go for a bite here, and we're going to hope that you're still just psychic type, I think. Yep, it's going to knock you out in one hit. With all these damn evolutions, we are looking powerful today, boys. Trying to learn scary face too. Dart, what the hell? Why does everybody want to have such a scary face tonight? What, what's the deal? We're going to not learn that. Get a ton of experience, and Rodney has been defeated. This is the end, I know. We get $2,800. Wow, Hayden, that was intense, but I'll get you next time. You sure won't. He's going to actually heal our Pokemon, too, so we don't have to run back to the Poke Center, and we can just kind of continue on the old bridge here. Thanks, buddy. I'm going to go to Docking Port and get some more experience. See you later. Huh, what? Oh, shit's happening. Oh, you two, heading over the Battle Bridge. So am I. I'm going to beat all the trainers there as fast as I can, so I can get to High Point City and get my next gym badge. Not gonna waste my time battling you now. How about we meet in Docking Port? There we can battle. Catch you later, losers. This guy's freaking mean. This guy's such a windbag. A windbag? What the fuck? I will definitely find him in Docking Port and teach him a lesson. We'll see each other again, Hayden. Bye. See you later, buddy. Well, okay, cool. We're just gonna continue on the old battle bridge and I guess just uh, do some battling. Just gonna leave Husk Pup in front. You must battle me to get past. So I assume this is like the Nugget Bridge kind of thing where we're just gonna have a series of trainers. School kid Bob here has got a snuff us. That's not that scary. Only level 29? I mean, we're we're a level lower than you. Jesus Christ, that ice shard did absolutely nothing. Why is snuff us such a fucking unit? Okay, this thing is scarier than I initially thought. False alarm. Uh, let's go into Snake, though. I think we'll be okay with our buddy Snake here. And look, just look at how powerful the team is. If we can get Husk Pup to evolve, we're going to be... We're going to be sitting pretty damn nice. Also, I don't know what level Dart evolves, if it even evolves. I assume it does. Probably turns into something pretty damn cool. We actually get the para with the... I don't know, get the confusion. I forgot that I could even get the confusion. Hurt yourself, Snuffas. Yeah, that's right, buddy. Doesn't quite knock itself out, but that's fine. We're just going to finish you with an acid spray because we can, and you're dead. Snuffas is actually kind of a good Pokemon. You would expect it to not be so damn good, but that thing's, I think it's kind of a beast. What do we have down here? Ooh, this is a new route where we can catch a new Pokemon, so maybe we can even find something cool to add to the team. We get TM81 for x Scissor, so that's pretty nice. Let's see what we can get in this grass. Probably one of those damn seaweed thingies. Yep, exactly. <laughs> we, we find a Weed Sea. So, uh, level 22 Weed Sea. We can, um... Okay, Pursuit Crit actually does quite a bit. It's going to Leech Seed us. That's freaking annoying. Why are you doing this? Why you gotta do this? Well, that animation for that's kind of weird. I for, for sure have seen that already, but... Interesting. Let's just go... We do actually really need to train up Charlotte, I guess. But we'll get Ghost another level before we put Charlotte up there, but... Predicts the switch and goes for the lead seat again. You know what? Let's just throw a ball at this thing, because... It can't be too difficult to catch, can you? Let's go for a, uh... Let's just try a Great Ball first. Test our luck with the old Great Ball. 
And we actually get it first try, so we got ourselves a weed sea. Such a such a unique name. It's a seaweed named weed sea. <laughs> so it's a water grass type, resides among seaweed crowds for natural camouflage from hunters. There are seemingly there there are even seemingly seaweed colonies where there are nothing but weed sea. Interesting. Well, we're gonna give you a nickname. What should I name this little guy? Weed sea. Mm, hmm. We're just gonna name you, uh, we're gonna name you Kelp. My Diet Doctor Kelp. There you go, buddy. Probably not gonna use this thing for a while, but that is actually a good typing. We could, ah, oh, fuck, that went to the death box too. You know what, I think actually we do need to do some maintenance to the death box. We're gonna run back here real quick. Um, we do need to make sure we get the mons that are in the death box that are actually not dead, because I'm for sure gonna forget, and that's not what we want. So let's head over here. Whatever box you last leave off on, they always go right to the death box. Okay, so this thing is not dead. I meant to do this last episode. You're not dead. We also have that egg I need to hatch eventually. Freaking little own tempo guy. We'll put you there too. Okay, so we actually have a nice little stockpile of mons too. We're doing, we're doing good. And back to business. So I assume there's actually quite a few trainers to do on the bridge. We got a lot of grinding last episode too, so I'm wondering what level the next gym's gonna be. It's probably gonna be pretty damn tough. What's happening, lady? I'm up next, but you won't beat me. I bet you I will. I'm gonna go ahead and say, Kelly, that you about to catch these hands. You got a rub bunny, holy shit. We have not seen a rub bunny yet. I should have healed while I was at the damn Poke Center. Why am I like this? The world may never know. Um, let's go into Charlotte here, maybe? Fuck, it's level 29 though. I should probably... Man, these are actually kind of scary. I think this thing looks like a fairy type, though. Dizzy Punch actually hurts a lot. Let's go for a Poison Fang and see how much this does. Not a fairy type. Oh, now it's going to counter. Holy shit, we live with four. All right. This thing is scary as shit. It has counter. Good to know. Um, you're not a fairy type. Which is surprising. Dizzy Punch. Doesn't hurt Snake too bad. Man, I should probably just put the EXP share on Charlotte or Husk Pup. Dude, this thing is fucking bulky as tits. Okay, it's going for... It just wants to go for counters. That's good we're hitting it with special attacks. Take that, you damn rub bunny. Counter is one of the ultimate killers in Nuzlocke. That's always... Uh, counter or revenge, I feel like. Always hex you up. Get 700. Man, Snake Rose level 31 there. So much experience trying to learn Pin Missile. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pass on Pin Missile. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, Kelly, you're actually pretty scary. So yeah, since I, got, I guess these people only have one Pokemon, so they always have something pretty scary. But uh, that could have been that could have been bad. Could have been real bad. We're seeing all sorts of new Pokemon though, so that's pretty fun. Anyway, we're gonna heal just to save some uh, save some cash on potions. Thank you. And we should probably switch up the lead here. Who should I give the EXP share to? Let's um. Where the fuck even? Oh, wait, I think the EXP share is actually on them. Am I using? I have not been paying attention. Ghost has Eevee Light. Okay, yeah. So Dart has the EXP share. You know what? We're gonna um, we're gonna take that from you, buddy. You've been getting quite a bit of experience. We're gonna give it to Charlotte. My damn headphones keep beeping. I f I do not recommend getting wireless headphones. They have, they grind my gears, man. All right, we're gonna take that silver powder off ya. There you go, ma'am. Even though you're a guy, time to get his money. Um, who should we lead with, though? Let's put... I guess we could just lead with Ghost. I mean, level 29, though, we're coming across some pretty high levels, and we really have no good moves. I don't think this thing learns anything until, like, level 45, which is pretty damn ridiculous. It's got to be a really good Pokemon, though, if they hinder it that much from move pools, but... I guess we're going to find out. What's up, lady? I'm not going to go soft on you. It's an interesting word choice there. Okay. And we here actually has two Pokemon. You got a Wee Shock, level 28, so a little bit lower level. We'll see how much we can do with a uh, with a shard here. Should be able to take a couple attacks, dude. Ice Shard does fucking absolutely nothing. Agility, you're annoying. We're now gonna switch. Let's use Dart because we have Volt Absorb. If this thing wants to hit the, hit us with some electric attacks, we're gonna just soak that shit up. Faint does nothing. And Ancient Power. Gonna get his money. Yep, Volt Absorb helping us out there. This thing does not has never seen a dart before. He's like, what the fuck? The thing just soaked up my electricity. 
All right, one more. He just tries to go for it again. Yeah, apparently Dart is a great counter for anything electric. It's always going <laughs> to hit us with electric moves. So that's good to know. Duke Red level 31 there, looking nice. Next is a Pixelily. Uh, let's just stay in here. I think that, oh my god, I actually have not seen one of these things from this angle. So it's a fairy bug type, which means we have a great matchup here because we're um, steel rock. Does put us to sleep with freaking sleep powder, though, so that's stupid. Air cannon. Never seen that before. We eat that up, though, obviously. Sitting here fast asleep. Wake your ass up, Dart. We ain't got time for sleeping on the battlefield. Didn't try to sleep powder me again, but we do wake up. He heard me. Perfect. And doesn't quite knock it out, but we get in there. Oh my god, more sleep powders. This thing is ugly as hell and annoying as hell. I'm actually kind of glad that my picks we died. Because I don't like you, you weird little green lady. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Yay, he hears me every time. I gotta just... I gotta just tell him every time. Wake your bitch ass up. All right. We do actually get the stat boost from that one too, which doesn't matter because that was her last Pokemon, but it's, you know, it's the thought that counts. Good job, Dart. You enjoy those stat boosts for like another 20 seconds here. So much experience though. Hard battle. Sure was. All right, um, Ghost, you really, really kind of suck, buddy. We're going to put Snake in front because Snake can actually do damage. All right. Continuing this way, we do have some more grass. And a Pokeball over here. We might as well, I guess, actually see what we can find uh, in this grass. We get a Netball, so that's good for catching Water-type Pokemon, which is cool. And just another, just another Weed Sea. Your damn little seaweed bastards are everywhere. What else? There's got to be a couple other things in this area, you would assume. Also, when the hell can I surf? I want to go on the water. Oh my god, we do... <laughs> a Palmo! We have never seen one of these things. It's like a... Wow. A little baby palm tree. I love it. That's pretty sweet. And then there's one of these damn things. We have seen we have seen shrub seed before, so I, that's probably like the extent of what you can find there. But that's pretty cool. Think you can beat me? Ha! This guy doubts it. Kid, you're like seven years old. He's got a stick cut. Holy shit! That's the evolved form of stick it, ladies and gentlemen. That makes me really sad that I killed my stick it. Fuck. Okay, well, <laughs> this thing is awesome. It's just a, a wooden hair cross. That's pretty sweet. Let's go for an acid spray because bug or because uh, grass type, so that works out. We do actually get the special defense harsh drop, which doesn't really matter. We're gonna go for a horn attack, uh, which is fine. Dude, this thing is amazing. I love it. Really cool design. I'm just kind of a sucker for like mons that look like hair cross or pins or anything like that. I'm only into into a, into a couple bug types, but when I like them, I like them. We got a bud chirp next. We're just gonna stay in here, just changing it up on us, going from real cool to real average, huh? All right, well, that's gonna knock you right out. So this guy had a interesting team, gets us some solid experience. Oh man! All right, and moving right along. So many trainers. Looks like there's one more after this one. And is that gonna be the end of it? Who knows? Rich boy Willy, he's got a gecko. Uh, another one of these damn things, huh? We hate you, you damn little Spider-Man gecko. Doesn't quite knock it out. Goes for a Confuse Ray and transforms into Ghost type because it's got that protein ability. Protein. <laughs> we are confused, and of course we hit ourselves because why the hell wouldn't we? Come on, Snake. Now it's gonna covet. Transforms into normal type. And uh, I forget what Covet, Covet is, okay, it's going to steal my magnet, you bastard. I really don't want to die here, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to switch into Ghost, um, who should be able to take something. One would hope. And then we can just finish it with it. Jesus, that's still, even with the Eviolite, that does like half damage. Ice Shard is going to knock it out, though. We get that Moxie boost. Going to grow to level 30 here, finally. There you go, sir. Next is a Worm Worm Moon. I think we're gonna actually stay in here. Worm Moon. That's a okay. That's obviously the evolved form of uh, Gorm. <laughs> Level 27 Worm Moon with with uh, with our Moxie boost. I think Ice Shard should be able to do it here. You would think maybe. Nope. Okay, not quite. Uh oh. Okay, it just goes for Rain Dance. That's fine. Perfect. Rain Dance. Why the hell would you do that? Aren't you Ground type? Interesting. Well. Cool to see all these evolutions of Pokemon that we've seen their pre-evolutions for. We get another Moxie boost here. 
And what else do you got for me, buddy? Next is a Parafull. We're gonna stay in. I don't know what the hell a Parafull is. Okay, it's just it's just the bird thing. Level 27, we should um, be able to do it. This thing is not fire type, is it? Ice Shard does knock it out in one hit because that Moxie coming in clutch. And uh, we're almost actually to 31 now, too. Nice. Take that, Willy. Rich boy. All right, this lady here looks a little scary, so we're going to heal up. Because why not? Get her some medicine out. We're going to go for a super potion. Give it to Sneaky Boy. Hey, let's see how this goes. Are you the last person? Nope, there's even another guy under there. This is where you lose. I'm doubting it. Carol. Carol has three Pokemon. She's got a Lop Hug. One of these damn things. I hate Lop Hug. We're just going to lighten it. Okay, I actually should have probably gone for a poison move. Because I'm pretty sure this thing's fairy. Double slap. A fitting move. For a weird ass wiggly tough. And as is ready to finish you off. Should have gone for that in the first place. But, you know, hindsight's 120. 510 experience. Next is a Dynamite. Let's just, um, let's Dracula this thing. Acrobatics. Super powerful flying move, works great. We're, honestly, we're sitting nice now. It's really cool doing Nuzlocks in games where I don't know, like, any of the Pokemon, because it kind of just, this team was fate, and it's turned out, honestly, pretty cool. Like, this looks like a team that I would actually, like, specifically, like, go out of my way to use. We've got ourselves a but oh my god, it's the evolved form of the bush thing. <laughs> it just sprouted legs. It's adorable. Acrobatics is going to knock it out. And we should be about 32. Yeah, going to level 32. Looking good. I lose? What? You sure do. My god, how many trainers are there? I'm lucky number 7. There's got, you got to be the end. Is there only 7 of you? Alright, Austin has 4 Pokemon. He's got a Rat Pro. And that's okay. We're just going to Lightning Strike you, I think. Right? What, is it? what type is this thing, anyways? Goes for an ominous wind. I think it's just a ghost type. We're going to finish it with a fever, because we can. Take that, bitch. Not very effective, but we don't even give a heck. And it's see, every time you kill these things, it just lags. So weird. Okay, next is a Nimblo. Uh, we have seen Nimblos before. Uh, have we? Yeah. yeah. We've definitely seen Nimblo. We've seen the pre-evolution of it as well. But Lightning Strike is super effective on this lad, because you're a flying type. Neat little cloud guy that looks like ice cream. And we're going to grow to level 33 off of that. Perfect. And next is a Dartoad. That's the evolution of the Toad Dart. Or no, Dart. What was the what was the pre-evolution of that shit? The Dartoad thing. Let's go into Charlotte here. What the fuck was uh something Dart? Whoa, this thing looks awesome. I love it. I, I love you, buddy. Okay, this thing is sweet. I I knew this th from seeing this thing's pre-evolution. I knew it was gonna be something cool. Let's go for a Bug Bomb. How about that? How about that? Doesn't do anything, but we do get the paralysis, so that's something. And it's fully paralyzed. So, ah. Why? Okay, yeah, because it's just a grass poison type. It actually has rain dish, and since it's raining, hot damn. Well, uh, we're just going to switch right out of here then. Let's go into Dracula, I guess. Acrobatics to finish this thing off. Dartoad, looking badass. Look at that tail. Goes for some leaf darts. Doesn't hurt too bad because uh, we fly in. Dracula reminds me of Noivern. It's kind of cool. Alright, getting that rain dish some more. Heck you. Take this acrobatics bitch. Should knock you out, maybe? Yep, that's gonna do it. Dracula is too damn good. It's funny, I never I didn't train this thing up for the longest time, but now it's okay, next is a Loon Ape. We do know about you. Let's actually just stay in here. Young Loon Ape, level 26. We're gonna bite you. If we could get crunch, that would be great. That's gonna knock it out. Get some bloodthirst and also a, br a bunch of experience. Yeah. What else you got? Charlotte grew to level 31. Oh, that's it. Guess you're the lucky one. Sure am. Oh my god, there's even more trainers. You're almost through. How many more trainers are there? Please, get me off of this damn bridge, Carla. She's got a Rubio, level 26. You're gonna catch a lightning strike loop, Rubio. Oh, it's fucking crown type. Jesus. Uh oh. It's gonna sand to him. I should have switched the hell out of here. The yep, obvious ground type is obvious, because that's the thing that you find in the the desert area. We didn't really battle any of these things, though, did we? I think maybe one or two. More sand tomb. Happy's about to absolutely destroy you with some bubbles, though. Happy says it's his turn onto Xbox. 
Mom said, see you dead. See ya, Rubio. I'm interested to see what that thing evolves into also. Next is a Laven Bell. No, I, that's Laven Seeds Evolution. Nice. Okay, looking pretty much exactly how you'd expect Laven Seed to evolve, but I guess that's kind of cool. It probably has one more evolution that would be pretty sweet, but sorry about that, Laven Bell. You gotta die, buddy. Prayer level 33. Next is a Caspring. No idea what Caspring is. We're just seeing so many new Pokemon. Oh my Jesus, it's the Jumple thing. Definitely gonna be the, it's the Jumple evolution. That's awesome. We'll go for an Aerial Ace here. Looks pretty cool. So we've seen the evolution of Stickit and Jumple now, and uh, they did not disappoint. Unfortunately, we don't have any of them on our team, but yeah, pretty cool. And a Fixovio. Fo what? Wait. Foxavian? Oh, oh my Jesus. Okay. This thing is. Uh, I remember seeing the pre evolution of this. A little, little fairy fox. I like it. We're just going to Aurora Beam you. Only level 26. So this lad kind of be slacking. Go for a play fight. That does nothing. We're just going to pee on you. Bust out a little R. Kelly on you. And you dead. Alright, so much experience. So close. Are we out yet? Oh my god. Still another trainer? I may look weak, but I assure you I'm not. They're really just trying to beef us up here in terms of levels. I guess we're, uh, oh my god, she has five Pokemon too? I thought there was going to be like four trainers on this shit. Why you got to hit me with so many trainers? What is the deal? Your Dove Heart is going to go down. Next is a Orature. No idea what Orature is. Oh, shit. Okay. It's the... It's this little guy. Um, and actually, I should have healed up here because... This thing's probably got a ground move. We're going to switch the hell out of here going to Happy. Um, I really hope you don't kill me. Fucking Bulldoze. Ouch. Okay. Level, it's only level 25, though. We should be good. Yeah, it doesn't do too much. Speed is going to drop, but we're going to play it safe here. And definitely need to go for at least just a Super Potion. We'll go for that. Get you basically back to full horn attack, huh? That's fine. This thing's kind of got the Bastiodon head going. Bide. Oh, jeez. It's level 25, Mon, using Bide. That's not the move, buddy. Not the move. He's going to go down. Get ourselves some solid experience. Next is a Dynaball. Uh, we'll just stay in here. This thing is the damn steel type thing. Uh, we're just going to bubble beam you with that mystic water. About to catch this bubble. And that is going to knock it out. So it's Fire Steel. Do get a level 34 there. And Charlotte 32. Trying to learn Crunch. Okay, so Charlotte's got Crunch. Which is nice. We'll get rid of Bite for that. And an Aroma. No idea what the hell an Aroma is. But let's go into Dart for it. It's probably going to be a Fairy type. So maybe we would be good here. Aroma. Oh, it's that bird thing. Well, that's even better. Oh, fuck. But it has Magical Leaf. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't hurt that bad. We're good. Look at this little parrot boy. Ancient power doesn't quite knock it out. But we're actually out of ancient powers now. We're going to finish you off with a metal, uh, metal claw. Magical leaf does not crit us, thankfully. And it goes down. We do get a level 32 there. Looking nice, buddy. I uh, did not see what she was about to send in there. So when in doubt, we're going to Dracula. What do you got for me, lady? Wear hide. Okay. Uh, not the best matchup for us. I guess acrobatics is probably decent, though. Fake out, huh? Just gives me the old slapperoo. Right to the boobs. And catch these acrobatics. Does knock it out in one hit. So this lady has a bunch of Pokemon, but only level 25. Do get a lot of experience, though. And we have beat Petra. Are you, am, am I done with this fucking place? Yes. Oh my Jesus. There's another trainer. I'm the last trainer to battle. Good luck. Thank God. I was really hoping you were the last battle. I got all right, Brook. This guy's name is Brook. He has a do don't. We know that these things are actually kind of scary. Oh, they're fucking ground type. Oh Jesus Christ! I was just gonna say these things are scary. Last time they gave us some trouble. No! <laughs> Why? Oh fuck me. Well. My dumbass used an electric move on the ground type bird. I saw it. It was a bird. I was like, I'm just going to click my fucking electric move. How did that kill me in one hit, though? You would think I would be able to live it. Dude, snake. Oh, for sure my favorite mod on the team just died. And that is quite upsetting. Fuck. <laughs> 
Damn it, man. <sighs> well. Things were going so good. And then what do I do? I just kill my favorite Pokemon on the damn team. Fuck. Me. Well, that really sucks. Electo... Electabuzz? What? Oh, dude, now we're sitting in a scary spot. Okay, let's go into Dart. It's gonna be an electric type. What the hell is... What is this? The fucking... The last guy on the bridge. Oh, it's the... Uh, the fucking Dodo Bird, man. That thing got me last time, too. I was... Had some real near-death experiences with that damn thing. I really did not think that that bulldoze was gonna kill. As soon as I clicked that electric attack, I was like, Oh, wait, this is a terrible idea. I was like, yeah, this is, just, this is not a good idea. And we're out of ancient powers, too. I should have ran back and healed. We can rock slide. Crit does half. My god. We do get the flinch, though, so that's nice. I am so upset right now. You don't even understand. We get two flinches in a row. Fuck. I am I like why am I like this? Literally the second I clicked the electric move, I was like, oh, this is a fucking ground type bird. Uh Clippo. Man. I was all happy. We were about to finish the damn bridge. I'm gonna take it out on this Eclipo. God. Hey, get some health back with the bloodthirst. Dude. Why? A rush shot? No idea what this thing is. Uh, let's just stay in here. Rush shot? What are you? Okay, we have seen rush shot before. Is that a damn electric thing? Let's go back into dart then. We really need our ancient powers back. We can't let anything else die to this fucker. Spark? Okay, we're gonna get that. Young bolt absorb working for us. Thank you. Okay, we probably don't... We're probably not gonna take too much damage from this thing. Because I don't think it has much other than electric attacks. But damn it, a killed snake. Can I please get some Fs in the comments? Rest in peace, my lad. So this thing's not gonna hit us with more electric attacks, just get a quick attack. Why is there 10 fucking trainers on this bridge? Why do they have to do this to me? Like, I couldn't, I can't. <sighs> something was bound to go wrong. There was no, no scenario where I got through this whole bridge without losing something. <laughs> I'm literally way too upset. And Hick and Dart over here can't do any damage with Rock Slide because I have like an attack stat of four. Okay, next is a Widox. Uh, we will just stay in on a Widox, I guess. Probably be a couple Rock Slides. I only have two left, so we're gonna hope. Bug Bite ain't gonna hurt too bad, dude. I why didn't I just why didn't I just switch out on that damn Dodo Bird? Ugh. They tricked me, man. They're like, oh, this thing's a bird. Use an electric move. Nope. Ground type. I literally... Okay, of course I missed. I remember specifically last episode being like, oh, it's a ground type bird. That makes a whole lot of sense because it's a flightless bird and all that shit. But no. I am, I am dumb. Literally yesterday I recorded that and today I could not remember. Well, we beat Brooke. You win. Thank you. Jesus. Well, you beat all ten trainers on the battle bridge. Here's your reward. We get ourselves a lucky egg. Ooh. Nice, that's actually going to make um, grinding our team up a lot easier. So that is fantastic, and we have arrived at the docking port. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.